Hey, Scorpio. Okay, that Pisces read was a lot. It was a lot. I don't know if we're going to have, like, the same energy for you, but we'll see. That was a 30-minute reading, and it did not want to end. It didn't. Pisces, I don't know what's going on with you guys, but... Um, all right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. These are just general messages. If you guys have any ideas about what you want me to do for the rest of the week, let me know. I know somebody wants to do something on um, uh, Twin Flames. Guys, I, I don't know. I don't know what question you ask for Twin Flames, so I'm still, I'm still debating that one, but... Continue. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, Scorpio, okay, you just sort of mind your own business. Could be cleaning up, could be spring cleaning, could be um, daydreaming about a vacation. I am seeing a dolphin, so that would be significant. Somebody's working on their spirituality, um, could be taking classes even. If you guys have been dealing with an earth sign, ugh, they feel very betrayed or or they, they, they're blaming you for some sort of situation. This doesn't have to be romantic. They are at a distance, it says here. Could have been somebody you were married to, not necessarily, but definitely in some sort of situation with, situationship with. Looks like, Scorpio, you might... You might be needing to protect somebody at this time, or they're protecting you, one or, one or the other, from some sort of toxic person. Scorpio. Be careful, Scorpio. Be careful. You may end up getting, like, your heart stomped, okay? If you... If you don't um, protect your energy at this time, this could be, this again, does not have to, have to be romantic. This could be anything. This could be literally like a genuine friend that doesn't heed your warnings. This could be, um, sibling, child, anything like that. Okay. Just be careful there. Don't, don't give too much to somebody who's not, um, you know, uh, taking it the way they should. Why is a magician in the reverse? If you're not seeing your manifestations, okay, if you're not seeing your manifestations happen right now and you're like, oh, well, this is ridiculous, I'm just going to give up, that's the best thing to do because all of a sudden it's going to turn around for you, okay? It is there, it's kind of like in the distance, so whatever that looks like for you, um, it's coming your way. For Scorpio. Ooh, we have the four of wands here, why is that? I like it. I'm seeing a Taurus for some reason. You may have somebody new coming in. You're a little closed. You're a little closed off, Scorpio. But you have somebody new coming in, and this person actually looks pretty good for you. Um, it's it definitely looks like one of those situations that when you meet, you're gonna be like, oh no, no, they they don't like me. You know, or no, this doesn't feel right. This is that they must be like using me for something, something like that. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't have to be romantic, but it is coming out that way. Could be your new bestie. Who knows? Who's watching who over here? Scorpio. Okay, so again, this could be somebody who's been watching you for a while, you've been watching them for a while, and it's like, again, seemed like, seems like the impossible may just be happening for you at this time. Taking better care of yourself, or at least, can, or at least trying to, okay? Some of you might be dealing with an air sign as well, or they, they're, they might be the one telling you to take better care of yourself, or they might be, um, 
like assisting with you taking better care of yourself, not necessarily, but uh, maybe giving you some sound advice, who knows. We do have a water sign here. I'm seeing an ibis again. I don't know why I keep seeing ibises today. That's really strange. This person might be a drinker. I'm seeing cups everywhere. They are in the reverse, just an FYI. Scorpio, you are in the upright, but I see you not only judging some people, but really like ferociously judging some people. Um, it's almost like you, you've come to like lay down your, your, not lay down your sword. That's stupid, Kelly. Um, you've come to like, almost like handle the sword, if that makes sense. Why, let me go back to this water sign. Why is this? This is a fellow water sign. This is not you. It could be a cancer. They're dealing with some sort of toxic entity, having a hard time moving on with the situation. You know this person. For, I don't know why. I do not know why. Lotus is relevant. Tell me more about these people that you are upset with. It's more than one. I'm getting a lot of cancer vibes here, guys. Lots of cancer vibes. It's more than one. They are at a distant distance. Why? Could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. Could be... Um, Somebody affecting your finances, okay? Or what you plan on doing. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Scorpio, I do see you being um, pretty okay with being, if you're single right now. If you're not single, I feel like you might go into the future wanting to be single. You're just kind of working on yourself. Some of you are working on a garden. Some of you are working on, like, actually building, physically building something. Um... Why is the Seven of Swords here for Scorpio? Oh, you're going to find out about somebody deceiving you in the future. They knew exactly what they were doing, okay? Heavy on the Aries doesn't have to be, but they knew exactly what they were doing. They, um, with judgment here, don't worry, they're going to be caught pretty quickly. This isn't one of those situations where it goes on for a long time. It's like one of those situations that lasts like 24 hours. And you're like, oh, really? I don't think so. Um, why is this, though? Why are they doing this to you? It has to do with your finances. Please be careful. Please be careful. If this is somebody you were in a relationship with, they might be, like, draining your bank account before they left. If this is somebody... Um, who you work with, they might be, you know, potentially taking credit for your, for your stuff. If this is somebody who, ooh, I don't like it. I don't like this person's energy. Just be mindful. I think you're going to know who it is. They're going to play the victim when this all goes down. The tower is here for Scorpio. Why is that? Yeah. Again, it has to do with your income. Okay. And the number nine. So it could be an investment. I still see somebody is, this is work related and somebody is invading your territory taking your money. They're doing something. There's something very fishy. Maybe you have a, some sort of brilliant, um, you know, business idea and they're stealing it. Maybe, uh, you know, the printer goes missing and they blame you and it was really them. You know, I don't know guys, but I don't like this person at all. Um, if it's not work related, like I said, this could be, a, um, like, let's say it's a divorce. I feel like they're going to do, do whatever possible to make sure that they come out on top and that you lose everything. 
or a separation, anything like that. You might be daydreaming of somebody from the past at this time. I don't know why I'm seeing Kanye West. I've been seeing celebrities all day, guys. I don't know what is going on with that. <laughs> Who sees Kanye? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. What is he? I think he's a Gemini. So it could be somebody. It could be a Gemini from your past. Yes, and I do look up what celebrities signs are, guys, all the time. Because I like to guess. I like to, like, see somebody and be like, I bet they... I'm not really good with sun signs. I'm super good at picking moon signs, but I'm not good with sun signs. And I know some of you do this too. Come on. It's fun. Continue, Scorpio. Okay. You're going to have to burn some bridges, especially with this person I keep referring to with the Seven of Swords. And I do see you kind of seeing the flames in the distance and being like, great. I wish it didn't have to go this way, you know. You're still sensitive, you're still empathetic, but it's like it had to be done. The number four is relevant. Oh, I hate that number. Being selfish with your energy at this time, which is very good. Again, I still see you thinking of somebody. I think for the majority of you, this is a new person. We have the Ace of Cups. This is a new person. It's like... Um, or you want to restart with an old person, something. I just see you really, really paying attention to, the, like, not paying attention. I see you really reminiscing about this person or really thinking about daydreaming about this person, um, something of that nature. I'm seeing a big ass, guys. I don't know if that helps. I don't know if that helps. Somebody has a big ass. Looking for options. Feeling at a loss for your options as well. Why is that? For Scorpio. Sometimes a lack of the options will leave you with one one specific option. It's like your only option, and that's going to lead to the lead to the Ten of Cups for you. There is some sort of celebration here. Now, now there were some people here that think they're going to celebrate with you. They think that your success is also their success, and that is not going to be the case. Similar to Pisces read, I'm seeing the planet Pluto. Scorpio. We have the world here. We do have some sort of connection coming in. I'm going to be honest with you, Scorpio. The sex is not looking too. The sex is looking kind of else. You've been going through a, a streak of no sex or this new person and you, you guys are not going to be sexually compatible one or the other. That sucks. That sucks. Continue. Again, not feeling like you have a lot of options. Feels like a very heavy burden to you. I'm I'm telling you these options, these lack of options actually leads to the one option you have that does help you become successful in whatever it is that you're looking at. But it's almost like you're... At this time, I just guess you don't see it. We have 1010. Who is this earth sign? Could be arguing or fighting with some sort of earth sign. Again, it looks very financial. I feel like you're having issues at work. I have 10, 10, 10 now. Not seeing eye to eye with whoever this person is. If it's not work related, it could be family or friend, but I do see you guys like really not being able to work things out at this time. Might cause you to get very cold towards this person as well. You feel like you're in some sort of bind. Why is that? 
for Scorpio. Why is this? Because you can't really move away from the situations that are causing you all this strife. Okay, for some for some people, yes. You know, you can just cut this person off, but there's more than one person in your energy causing kind of um, like an energy depletion or causing you some sort of discomfort or, you know, chaos in your life. And not every one of them you can let go of. You know, maybe one of them is your freaking kid. What are you going to do? Like to put, toss them on the street? Um, so I think that's part of your dilemma here. is like sure I can I can get rid of you but I'm still dealing with this situation as well continue I'm seeing a lot of fires guys so please be be really careful you're shutting off your stove and and make sure you're you know checking your electrical wires make sure you are um, not leaving candles going things of that nature Finding somebody extremely attractive. I am seeing, oh, what stone is that? Could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. A lot of, lot of red here, guys. But um, what's the stone I'm seeing? Peridot. I'm seeing peridot. I have no idea what significance peridot has, okay? You could have a family, or they do. They could be a part of your family, whoever this... Why would you find your family attractive, Kelly? Scratch that. Scratch that. If it's a family member, maybe they're seen as a very attractive person. Very, you know, sought after or something. I'm not saying you're attracted to your mom or dad. So, that just got weird fast. But I am seeing family here. If this is a family member, they are definitely like I don't want to say they think you're crazy, but they don't understand the way you're going about things, okay? They don't they don't see it from your point of view. Like, you know, if you're spiritual, they don't really like it. If you're really into gardening, they're not, they don't really like it. If you're really into reading books, they don't really like it. Um, if this is just somebody that, like I said, you, somebody, you know, to, you, you find very attractive, um, maybe they want kids, maybe they have kids, something of that nature. <clears throat> I feel like they also are kind of looking at you like, like, like they can't process everything that you're processing if that makes sense they like they are coming at it from a very different um mentality and it's kind of confusing to them continue Let's see okay some of you might be buying a property a building uh, investing in something that would be really good for you. Some of you could be selling a property as well, which would be very good for you. Okay, we have you. Some of you are considering moving. Some of you might be using like your. I guess I'll use the word instincts, gut feelings about making a move too in the future. Like just, you know, really feeling like there's something like pulling you towards another direction. I see somebody coming in with some sort of nasty message for you as well. You two are not going to see eye to eye at all. You're going to have to cut them down. Could be an air sign, doesn't have to be. They may have had other people like 
oh this could even be like if somebody tries uh this is going to be really messy scorpio but let's say you are and are seeing somebody uh so something like that their ex might come in and like you know message you like stay away from my man you know something like that um if this is a especially if it's a newer situation if this is um somebody from the past coming back in they they're bringing drama they're bringing drama with them This has to do with a past situation here. I don't know. I don't know. Scorpio, it's messy. Your your readings as messy as Pisces. Let's see what happens with Cancer. My God, we don't have the Ten of Cups here. Um, you're missing something. You're missing something. In order to get to that Ten of Cups, it's just something very minor, but I can't figure out what it is. It's like things are going. Well, maybe not so much in the love life, but um, oof, okay. If somebody tries to come back in, especially during ret retrograde, I would just run for the hills, okay? I'm just going to tell you that right now. Um, I wouldn't get into any sort of deep commitment during that time either. I think that person would be a bit chaotic. But for those of you that are still emotionally somehow attached to somebody, some truth will be spoken about them. Now, I believe they're going to tell you. They're going to say it. What is that sign I keep seeing? I'm seeing like a, a I don't know which element that is. Um, this truth yeah, you don't see it coming. It's going to come as a bit of a shock to you. But give you a lot of relief. So maybe you need closure from somebody from the past. Maybe this new person um, says, like, whatever, just the right things. Maybe this is uh, a family member, you know, that, that finally apologizes for their horrible behavior. You know, something of that nature. Do you see spending some time alone and trying to heal from a else you're healing from a past connection or this new connection will be very healing to you again I would wait till after retrograde before getting involved with anybody I would I'd personally do as you like but that's what I would give you for advice all right Scorpio, this was almost as crazy as Pisces, so I don't know that I'll be using these cards again. These are, this is my old deck, the um, vice versa deck. I used to love it, um, but I feel like it reads very chaotically. And so I think that it is going to have to come to, well, I think it's going to have to go to the shelf. That's what I'm thinking, because um, I don't like when the readings are all over the place like this. I know we are in the shadow period of Mercury retrograde, and that does make it a little more crazy, but um, I don't love it. I don't love it. All right, so I hope this helps.